Hello and welcome to this Easify video, which today is all about how to use Easify to create a VAT return and submit it digitally to HMRC Making Tax Digital. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link Easify Pro to HMRC Making Tax Digital, how you can then use that link to download a VAT return from Making Tax Digital, how you can then generate the VAT return in Easify and then digitally submit it to HMRC using Making Tax Digital. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch Easify Pro. So we'll do that and we'll log in. And from there, we go to Tools and VAT Settings. And here is where we're going to basically link Easify Pro to HMRC. So on here, you'll see that we have a VAT registration number box. And in there, we need to put our VAT registration number. So let me just go and grab that quickly. And we've got a, uh, I've got a VAT registration number I can use. So we put our VAT registration number in this box. Now you could have you could put GB in front of it. It doesn't matter. It'll accept it either way. Um, bear in mind that this box is only used by Making Tax Digital. So the VAT registration number you put in here is not going to print it on any of your paperwork or anything. It's only going to use it for Making Tax Digital. So the next thing we need to do then is to click the button that says Authorize for HMRC Making Tax Digital. And if you read the pop-up help on that, it says click to go to the HMRC website and authorize Easify Pro to access your VAT information for MTD. So when you click this button, it's going to take you to the HMRC website where you can log in and authorize Easify Pro to access your VAT information. So we'll click on that now. And it takes us to the HMRC website. And it tells us authority to interact with HMRC on your behalf. Easify Pro needs permission to interact with HMRC on your behalf, and it gives you instructions as to what you'll need to do. So we're going to click on continue, and it asks us to log in. Now you'll have your own username and password, user ID and password for HMRC, so obviously you would use your own credentials here to sign in. So we click on sign in. Here we're requesting authority to interact with HMRC on your behalf. The Easify Pro software application is requesting to do the following. View your VAT information, change your VAT information, and say hello. Well, don't worry about this one. This is just uh, because I'm running it in a test environment, and this is just a, a software test that they give us when we're developing. So you won't actually have say hello on there. Ignore that. It will be able to do the above for 18 months from when you grant authority. So when you click the green grant authority button, that's going to authorize Easify to uh, link into HMRC and view your VAT information and change your VAT information. In other words, Easify Pro will be able to retrieve a VAT return and it will be able to then submit it. And that's basically it. So we click on Grant Authority and it'll go away and think about it for a moment. And if it's successful, you'll get taken to our website, which will say HMRC success. Congratulations, you have successfully authorized Easify Pro to access your HMRC online VAT data. Now, I will say that the time it takes to go through this process may vary. Um, it might be that you log in and you follow the steps much as I've shown you, or it may be that HMRC want a lot more authentication data and you may have to go through various hoops before you get to this stage. But anyway, by the time you get to the end, this is what you'll see if it's all worked. Now, if we close the browser window, uh, you can see in the background now we have a green tick and it tells us we're authorized for HMRC making tax digital. So what that's done now is that's basically authorized Easify Pro to access your VAT information online. If you have any problems with this, if, for example, when you go through the HMRC website, it takes ages and you have to go off and find things to get extra information and you have to reply to emails and various things to get through their security hoops, this may time out. And if so, it'll tell you that it's timed out and you still have a red cross. If that happens, it doesn't matter. Just click the button again, and you can go through this as many times as you need to. So if it does time out, just click the button again, go through the process on the website, and once you've got a green tick, you'll know that it's all set up. Okay, so we'll click OK to that, and say, yes, we would like to save our changes. And the next thing we need to do is to download a VAT return from HMRC. So we're going to go to Finances, VAT Returns, and you can see at the moment we don't have any VAT returns on the system. So we're going to click on the plus sign, start a new VAT return. And it asks us, because we're set up with HMRC Making Tax Digital, Easify asks us, would you like to obtain a new VAT return from HMRC Making Tax Digital? So we'll say yes to that. And now Easify has just gone off to HMRC and it's pulled down 
a VAT obligation. And a VAT obligation is basically an outstanding VAT return. Not necessarily outstanding, but one that you um, haven't yet completed. So it's an in-progress VAT return. And you can see that because we're using the test system, the dates are, are quite old. This is showing dates for 2017, but obviously the, uh, the dates will be relevant to you when you do it. So I'm going to select this VAT return here, this VAT obligation, click OK. And what that does then is it downloads the details of the VAT return. So you can see it's automatically filled in the start date and the due date. And we're basically ready to go. Now, if you look in the bottom left, you can see there's a box that says HMRC making tax digital submission information. And there's a message telling us not submitted via MTD. So this box is empty at the moment because we haven't submitted the VAT return using MTD. And we're going to do that in a moment. So the first thing we need to do is we need to generate the VAT return. Now, I'm going to assume that you've been trading with Easify and you've been processing sales and orders and you've been putting your purchases on. So you've got some VAT information in Easify um, that's ready to go. Now, on this demonstration, I've already got some data that's pre-existing, so we're going to use that. Now, to generate your VAT return, you click on the Generate VAT Return button. So we'll click on that and Easify will go off and it'll do all the calculations for your VAT return. And on the right, you can see that it populates the nine boxes for your VAT return with some information. Now, again, this is just test data on here. This isn't real data, but this is an idea of what you would get. Um, on box five, net VAT to be paid to HMRC, it's telling us that we have a VAT liability of £211.22. Alternatively, it could be that HMRC owe us money, in which case it would tell you how much money you're owed by HMRC. Now, at this stage, Easify has generated your VAT return. So now it's down to you to go and actually check that, and you need to check that all the details are correct. So what you can do now is you click on the Export VAT Return Data to CSV File button. And you get the opportunity to save a CSV file of your VAT return. So we're just going to call that VAT Return. And that's saving to our Documents folder. And that told us the VAT return was exported to CSV OK. So we're going to close that. And we'll go to our Documents folder. In there, and we have VAT return, which is a CSV file, which is uh, able to be opened by Microsoft Excel. So we're going to open that in Excel. And then what you can do is you can go through the CSV file, which is a list of all the calculations that are used to make up your VAT return. And you can check through this and make sure that your VAT return is correct. So make sure that you're paying the VAT on all of the things you expect to pay, or that you're claiming it back on all the things you expect. So with this file, you could email this to your accountant, or you could go through it yourself and satisfy yourself that everything's correct. If you find any problems with it, this is an opportunity where you can go back to the order or purchase with a problem and correct it before you submit your VAT return. So for example, if you look at the, uh, the first column, we have the date of the transaction. And then we have our ref, which is in the event of a sale, it's the order number, or if it's a purchase, it's the purchase number. It tells you what type it was, what type of order, what type of purchase, along with the comments. So this will tell you the customer name, the order details, sorry, the order comments and other information that helps you to pin down what it relates to. Over here, we have uh, the net and the VAT column, and you'll see that some of these are blank. The reason that a cell would be blank would be that the VAT box number that it relates to is only concerned with the VAT value here. So VAT box number one isn't concerned with net values, so we don't display them. It declutters it, and it makes it much easier to look through. You'll notice here we've got a reconciled column as well. So this tells you whether that transaction's actually been reconciled, and we'll cover reconciliation of accounts in a future video. So when you're happy with all the information on your VAT return, we can close that, and we can go back to Easify Pro, and we can go back to our VAT returns, and we'll double click this VAT return that we've got in progress here. And the final thing to do is to upload it to Making Tax Digital. So to do that, we click on Submit VAT Return, and we got a pop-up message, confirm submit VAT return. You're about to digitally submit this VAT return to HMRC. Before you do this, we recommend that you export the VAT return data to CSV file. Well, we just covered that. And that you and or your accountant check it thoroughly. It is your responsibility to ensure that the VAT return that you submit is accurate. 
Once you submit this VAT return, it and any records associated with it become read-only and can no longer be edited. When you click yes, you will then be asked to agree to the HMRC terms and conditions after which your VAT return will be digitally submitted to HMRC. Are you sure you want to submit this VAT return? Quick comment on that is that once you do, con once you do submit a VAT return in EasyFi, it becomes read-only, as do the records that it relates to. So the idea there is that once you've submitted a VAT return, you can't then go back and inadvertently modify anything that's on a VAT return. So at this stage, we're going to say, yes, we want to submit our VAT return. We've checked all the data. Our accountants come back and uh, made sure that everything's looking good there. So we click on yes. And then we get a second confirmation. Digitally submit VAT return. You're about to digitally submit this VAT return to HMRC. When you submit this VAT information, you are making a legal declaration that the information is true and complete. A false declaration can result in prosecution. Are you sure you want to submit this VAT return to HMRC? Well, yes, we do. We've checked it all and it's all fine. So we click on yes. And at this point, Easify will go off to HMRC and it'll upload the VAT return to HMRC. And it's come back to us and said VAT return submitted OK. And you'll notice that in the box in the bottom left, HMRC making tax digital submission information, we now have a processing date. We have a form bundle number, which is an HMRC reference that you could use in any correspondence with them. And that the payment indicator is bank. And again, this will vary depending on how you're set up with HMRC. And that's it. That's the VAT return submitted. And you can see that in the list, it now says the status of the VAT return is complete. And you've successfully downloaded a VAT return from HMRC Making Tax Digital, created the VAT return using Easify, and submitted it digitally to HMRC. Okay, if you have any questions about Easify and Making Tax Digital, please feel free to email us at support at easify.co.uk and we'll do our best to answer any questions you might have. In the meantime, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you on that as soon as I possibly can. So until next time, thanks for watching.